Okay, so I know that my story today is already dangerously long, but I do want to share with you some of the gear I take with me when I go on a bike ride. I always take two full bottles of water with me on every ride that I go on. I have a little blinking light that's on the back of my bike so that people can see me on the road, stand out a little bit. This right here is more for when I'm on a bike path more than anything, but I have a little bell just in case I need to let some pedestrians know I'm about ready to pass. And for me personally, I like to have a nice, super comfy ride, so I have a specialized bike seat. I never go on a ride without my helmet, and so that I can listen to things like, I don't know, let's just say the Hamilton soundtrack. While I'm riding, I use these Bluetooth wireless headphones. Inside this bag, I have a bunch of other items. I have my sunglasses. And by the way, sunglasses I have found are extremely important if you wear contact lenses like I do. Just started wearing contacts a few months ago, and my first ride of this year, my contact lenses were dried to my eyeballs. Okay, you'll notice there's a little pouch in here that I can pull out, and inside it's got a cable for my iPhone. And this pouch actually has a little thing on here where it slides right like that. And it's sit there pretty snug. The main purpose of this pouch is to hold a USB battery charger so that I can charge my phone while I'm out. Of course, I can also put in a nice energy bar to have easy access to while I'm on a ride. I have an awesome iPhone case made by Quadlock that makes it super simple for me to put my phone on and take off of my bike while I'm on a ride. Now I'm using my phone to video this, but you can imagine my phone sitting there and it's real simple for me to plug in the charger from the USB charger here. And when I'm riding, I like to be able to see what's behind me, so I have a rear view mirror up on my handlebars. And when I go on really long rides, and I'm talking 50 mile or 100 mile bike rides, I like to wear these padded bike gloves. Sometimes I'll ride out on trails for 100 mile rides and I might not get back until it's dark and so I have this really bright headlight. Of course I keep a couple extra tools in here. I have a spare tire if I have a major puncture. I also carry a spare tube with me at all times. And just in case I have a flat and I can easily repair the tube myself, I carry a tube repair kit. Other miscellaneous things, a couple extra adjustment tools. I usually carry hand sanitizer. Anyway, all of that goes into this bag, which then just clips right there onto the back of my bike. And the cool thing is, is when I do go on those 100 mile bike rides, I still have access to these side bags on each side, these saddles. And this makes it possible for me to even load up lots of extra water for the trip. But for a ride like today, I just throw the bag onto the back, make sure I have my water bottles, my energy bar, and a USB charger, and I throw my phone on there and we're off. Oh, I almost forgot one very important thing to tell you. Before every ride, I make sure to air up my tires to full pressure. To do that, I use this professional pump here. I usually do 110 PSI in the front tire and 115 PSI in the back tire. And on the side of my water cage, I forgot to tell you that I also carry a portable pump with me, just in case I do need to inflate tires after a flat. All right, tires are aired up and I'm ready to go. I've got about an hour and 50 minutes before sunset. 